Hey guys, Dinos Gaming here. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are working on pranks. I have 10 of them lined up, and it's surprising how many pranks are already done on YouTube. I'm pretty sure a couple of these have already been done, but I tried to come up with most of my own ideas. So let's get right into it. This first one here, if anybody watches Hermitcraft, you'd know what this is. So pretty much, you put piece of amethyst over a dispenser that has some fire oh the chicken get out okay <laughs> you put a dispenser with fireworks with the pressure plate with amethyst over it with the chicken eventually the chicken walks over it and does that and it will <laughs> that's perfect timing actually and it will uh, really distract whoever's there Okay, so this has to do with the new stuff, the powdered snow mixed with regular snow. Friends walking along in your snowy base, and, oh no, it's prank, uh, and fox. This is a super flat world, how do you get- Uh, I remember now. I had a chicken outbreak. Yeah. So that, ca that happened, okay, well, your friend falls in. They get messed up with this guy and maybe a fox if you want to. But that's that's pretty much it. You can put anything down there. You can make it a really big pit. You can put lava down there like in the failed one. Whatever you want. This next one here is the chickeninator. I should probably clear this out. Um, so you basically put a couple chickens over a hopper. With that hopper leading into a dispenser with some redstone thing of your choice that sends out chicken eggs. Are these guys even making chicken eggs? Huh. Well, it'll keep putting chickens into their base and it does get really annoying after a point. So let's just do a bit of this. And now your friend has random chickens in their base, and they don't know where they're coming from. So you should probably hide this behind like a bush if they have one. Something like the Oh no, I'm gonna have Fox! Where'd the fox go? Okay, I'm sorry, chicken lovers, but uh this gets really annoying. <laughs> oh no, that's gonna break my other prank. Oh no! It's a chicken uprising! <laughs> Okay, now that that's taken care of, let's go on to the next prank. For this, you'll need your friend's bed and a zombie to put under there. So, you can have the zombie under there, or rather a bit further away so they can't really hear it. But they can't, they can't sleep now because there's a monster there and it's under their bed. And you don't, they don't know why, but you, they can't sleep. Now this one kind of makes sense because this is a room. Let's say your friend has a cookie dispenser. Yay! Okay, uh, you want to prank them? Simply go to the super secret redstone room. Do that. And walk away. That's really it. Uh, so, that's really just a super simple one. Let's just fix that. And if your friend's a good sport about it, they might give you one of their cookies. This next one is the oldest trick in the book. The obsidian over a chest. Now, if your friend doesn't have a single pickaxe to their name, this will take them, I think, over 30 minutes to break the obsidian. But if they do have a pickaxe, it's just annoying. Now, this next one is a clever little trick for those of you who have friends who use barrels not a lot of us have those kinds of friends, but there are those. So here we have your friend's prized grass blocks. When they put them into the chest, they go for their things and do stuff and make themselves a dirt hut because they're a noob, I guess. There we go. Now we have a dirt hut. Anyway... Once we come back from our little dirt hut excursion, 
Our dirt, some of our dirt is gone and it's going. Well, anyway, this is supposed to just be gone. But it's a simple trick with hoppers coming through it, going to a chest. Now, it needs to be a barrel because if it's a chest, you can see it. That's why you need a barrel. This next one is really a test. Not much of a prank. But let's say your friend has something like a p flower pot. Uh, you can change... I can't get the flower pot. There we go. Change the flower in the flower pot to see if they notice. Just keep changing things in their room. Like, maybe you'll break a block under their bed. See if they notice. Or change the bed color. That one's probably obvious. But you get the gist. This one, maybe to show it off, maybe to brag, but it's a prank nonetheless. You get your friend's heads, or your own, and you know, you just kind of fill a wall with their heads. Yes, this is using a mod pack, but it still works. Hey look, and I'm Scar now. That's the end of our video. If you liked it, please leave a like, and if you want to see more, subscribe. See you next time.